We're at Nova Southeast University in South Florida, actually Davie, Florida, at the Rose and Alfred Miniachi Performing Arts Center. We're today, Sunday, May 1st, they are conducting Miami Dolphins cheerleader audition tryouts, the finals for this spectacular team, Miami Dolphins cheerleaders, and for the first time, they have cheerleaders from other countries who made it to the finals. They qualified for this event and are competing to become a Miami Dolphins cheerleader. Nova Southeastern University is home to the Miami Dolphins football team's training facility. But today it's all about the cheerleaders. Let's check it out.
Dolphins cheerleaders just selected today. It's her first time as Miami Dolphins cheerleader. It's Jennifer. Jennifer is a Miami gal, but actually, Jennifer, you came from Cuba. Tell us how you were able to come from Cuba to Miami. It was very hard because it was a completely new um, country. Like, friends were in Cuba. Here, I didn't know English, no friends, almost no family members. So, it was tough. You were nine years old I at the time nine, when yes. you came over here. And at the time, uh, you had had some surgery yes. for that. So explain what happened there and then how you recovered. I could barely walk when I came here in the airplane, so that was so sad. I mean, I couldn't walk because of the surgery, but then I couldn't dance. That was my passion. Like, I don't care if I don't walk, but I have to walk to dance, you know? So that was so sad. How did you overcome that? Well, I said to myself, I do not care what the doctors say. You know what? I'm going to stand, I'm going to walk, and I'm going to dance. 
you ended up going to Palmetto Senior yes. High School, graduated there, and then went to Miami Dade College and yes. graduated as well. Actually, right now, I, do, I did eight years of teaching in Miami Palmetto Senior High School in the Spanish school because they didn't have a teacher. So I did it for free because it was my passion, you know. And now, and then I went to um, Miami Dade College and I did two years with Miss Murray. She's she's awesome professor. I did jubilation dance ensemble. That was the dance company that I danced with. What brought you to this moment here, making it as a Miami Dolphin cheerleader? How much work, how much time, and just oh you had to put in for well, this? I've been... Okay, for a month, I haven't eaten anything. I lost 10 pounds in one month because I was like, it's competition. There's a lot of girls. They're pretty, they're skinny, they're talented, you know? I have to work, like, eat healthier, do a lot of workout sessions, um, a lot of... Um, Sorry. Exercises yes. and just different things yeah. like that and all that you had to do. What was it like when they called your number and your oh name? Oh my god, I couldn't believe it. I was so nervous. I was like, what? I made it? Like, yes? I was so happy because I haven't danced for like six months because of nursing school. So now I'm like, yes, I'm back at it and I'm not gonna stop until I, I can. What does it say to you too that after all you've been through and coming from Cuba and mm -hmm. coming over here and all and being able to have this moment today? Well, I believe that everybody can do anything if you believe it. Even if you can walk, of course you can. Just get up and walk and go for your dream, you know? Thank you, Jennifer. No problem. Jessica, you were in the colors, the jacket. Palmetto, yes. let's see it, let's see it. Oh my God, this is my Chatnet jacket, but I was also a color guard. Um, I was in the Spanish club and the African Heritage Club also. Let me tell you something, right here, I think these are. this is probably your biggest fan club, is right here yes. with mom, sister, and dad. They're here to cheer you on. What was it like watching her perform and then get selected? It was, I was a little frightened because they were picking a lot of girls and then she was like almost in the end and I thought she wasn't going to make it and that, but she did, so I'm happy. Yeah, what was the reaction then when she did make it and all? Relief. Relief and happy. <laughs> What was it like for you guys? Because she was telling me about how you guys came from Cuba and everything and just really started a whole new life. What was that like for all of you to do that? It was uh, yeah, a new life. It was hard at first, but then we got adapted and then we just worked hard and you know, make things happen. How much were your sister and your mom being here? How much does this all mean to you that they're here this with you? This means a lot. They're my family. Like I've been living with them since I was little. I'm 20 and I still live with them. And I like it. Some people want to move out of the house and I don't. Family is very special, yes, very close to you and all like that. Do you all have family still in Cuba? Yes. Yeah. Do you keep in contact with them and, of and everything? My grandparents, my grandma. What are they gonna say? How what are they gonna think oh when they God. find this out? They know I don't know, they're gonna go crazy. <laughs> they're gonna be Miami Dolphins fans yeah. now. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Thank you very much.